Today's video is sponsored by PureVPN, and PureVPN covers all your online needs from becoming anonymous while browsing online, playing games, and keeping all of your personal data safe and secure. You can unlock a region-locked streaming services, things like Amazon Prime, Netflix, BBC, and many other popular streaming services directly on the go with over 6,500 servers. You can enjoy PureVPN freely anywhere on any device. PureVPN is currently running a Black Friday special. Get PureVPN for just $1.99 cents a month for a two-year plan that's about 82 percent off of your plan and you can use iDevice help code for an additional 10 percent off of your vpn hey guys so today i want to talk about ios 15.2 developer beta 3 and the next beta expected release dates as well as rc we'll talk about everything in this video you guys have been asking when we can expect the next beta so we'll talk about that in this video also i want to talk about a feature that's been canceled and pushed back to next year and everything else in between so of course as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software updates. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Now, iOS 15.2 will be bringing some great features to the iPhone, right? We have the new safety communication features for iMessage platform here coming to uh, the iPhone with 15.2. We have additional changes to the notification summary, which is super cool. I like the new style for notification summary. That's also coming, of course. The well-anticipated and much-anticipated app privacy feature, which is now fully featured, and we now have the graphical user interface so that we can understand everything and everything that's happening in the background great feature coming to the iPhone with 15.2 app privacy some changes to emergency SOS now the countdown is now 5 when you press the side button it's now 8 so it gives you more time to deactivate the emergency SOS Apple is re-enabling legacy contact here and now you can enable legacy contact hopefully this feature will make the final cut and of course we have some changes minor changes as well so if you want to check out everything that's happening with iOS 15.2 all my beta coverage will be linked in the description the uh, TV store now has a store tab or the Apple TV rather application now has a store tab on the bottom here which is new with 15.2 and within the camera application we now have a micro photography toggle when you get close to a subject Super handy, really cool feature coming to the platform. However, one feature that continues to give Apple issues, I guess, and Apple has had problems getting approval for, is the driver's license and ID features for iOS 15.2. Now, you may remember Apple has started rolling out this feature here in the United States, but it looks like this feature has now been once again pushed back and held until 20. 22. Apple has mentioned that this feature will not be ready in time for iOS 15.2. So unfortunately, next year, 2022, Apple will continue to work to bring IDs and driver's license features here in the United States, which is unfortunate. I was really looking forward to this feature here in Florida. It was actually going to be approved uh, in the next couple of weeks, but it looks like Apple is going to be holding back on this feature for whatever reason. They didn't really specify, but I'm thinking it's approval reasons and safety reasons. So anyway, let's talk about expected release dates for the next beta and or RC, right? The release candidate. And now if history is any indication, if you follow me here on the channel, Typically, Apple doesn't work after the Thanksgiving week. We don't see any beta software, but Apple has changed so much over the past year or two that maybe they will be working this year after Thanksgiving. So if Apple decides to work after Thanksgiving week, which is going to be quite unusual if they do, we could see beta 4 or the RC release candidate as early as Monday, November the 29th next week, within the next three days after filming this video. So the week of the 29th and the first week of December, if Apple does continue to work this year through the holiday season, we could expect Apple to release the RC again or Beta 4 next week. I know a lot of you guys are anticipating this software, and in terms of release dates, I still think this software will not be ready before Christmas. I think this software will be ready rolling out to the general public mid-January, but again, if Apple changes their tradition and how they do things, this software could release as early as the third week of December, so the week of the 13th before Christmas. If Apple changes things around, we could see iOS 15.2. Of course, we all want this new software before the holiday season, so hopefully Apple will change their ways and they'll release the uh, fourth beta or the RC next week and two weeks later on the week of the 13th, we see the final release right before Christmas. Thank you for watching this quick update. Just wanted to answer those questions, let you guys know about the driver's license and ID feature being pushed back. Of course, if you want to watch my entire coverage, links will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.